In today's class, we will learn about binary coded decimal. We know that digital computers or digital processors, they don't accept decimal data, rather they understand binary number system. That means only one and zero, these two digits. So in computing and communication of data, alphabets, numbers, punctuations and special characters that we use, they are represented by unique combination of one and zero. These unique combinations of 1 and 0 are referred as code for that particular information. And this whole process through which we are converting these alphabets, numbers, punctuations and special characters into their equivalent binary combination is called encoding. Now, we have many types of codes and one of them is weighted code which is very important and useful. In weighted code, the weight of a digit or a bit depends on its position. Now, as for example, if we take this decimal data 456, 456 we know that can be represented as 400 plus 50 plus 6. So, 400 can be further written as 4 multiplied by 100. 100 means it's 10 square plus 50. 50 means 5 multiplied by 10 to the power 1 and then 6. 6 means 6 multiplied by 10 to the power 0. So here weight of 4 is basically 400 and weight of 5 is 50 and weight of 6 is only 6. Now this concept of weighted code in case of binary will be explained little later. Now VCD we are in this class we are learning about BCD binary coded decimal. So binary coded decimal is again one type of binary encoding where each digit of the particular decimal number is represented by fixed number of bits and usually that fixed number of bits is 4. We have other BCD code format also like of 5 bits, 8 bits but usually each digit of the decimal number is represented by 4 bits only. As I said that BCD has uh, different types of weight pattern and also in case of BCD uh, each digit can be represented by uh, 5 or 8 other than 4 also. But in case of BCD the weight pattern or format that mostly we use is 8421. Next we will learn about BCD and weighted code in detail and then we will come back to this slide again. This is the format of BCD code where we can see here we are representing from 0 to 9 by 4 binary bits. Now we know in binary number system if we use 4 bits to represent decimal number then by using 4 bits we can represent in total 16 number and that is from 0 to 15 but in case of bcd we are only using 0 to 9 and and from 0 to 9 the format of these uh, digits are same that we have seen in case of binary number system i have also a separate class on that but what about from 10 to 15 in case of bcd this 10 from 10 to 15 that we can represent by using 4 bits they don't have any place in case of bcd so these six numbers are actually invalid then the next the question may come then how to represent 10 or maybe 10 to 15 in case of if suppose if you want to represent 10 then what we have to do is we have to represent 1 separately by using 4 bits as we can see here from this to this this is this this is the representation of 1 and 0001 is the binary equivalent of decimal 1 as we can see here and also for 0 we are using 4 bits and we know for 0 all our zeros now if suppose we want to represent 15 in bcd then what you do again what we have to do is one will be represented separately by four bits so we will see what is the equivalent binary and that is 0001 that we have already seen and for five again we will be representing that five by four bits so here five has been separately represented by 0101 so if it was binary then we could have represented 15 by four bits but when we are coming to bcd code the same number we are representing by 8 bits. Now suppose if we want to represent a 3 digit number in decimal and that is 234. 
so if it was binary then 234 means we know that by 8 bits we can represent total 256 uh, numbers so 0 to 255 that means 234 we could have represented by 8 bits but here when we are talking about bcd then 2 will be separately represented by 4 bits then again 3 will be separately represented by 4 bits and 4 will be represented by separately by 4 bits so in total we are having here 12 bits so that means to represent this three digit number we here for this particular example we need four extra bits so that we can take as one of the disadvantages of bcd code here to represent a same number we need more bits and to represent extra bits we may need extra time now we will see that why we are saying that bcd code is weighted code and the mostly used uh, weight uh, format is 8421 as i have already said that in case of weighted code the weight of every digit or bit depends on its position now this format of this bcd code we have already seen this for lsb the weight of this digit or bit is one and we will see that how this decimal equivalent is dependent on these uh, weights. Now suppose if we want to represent 3 in decimal number system if it is 3 and the weight 8421 if we follow then here at this position the MSB it is 0. So it will be 8 multiplied by 0 then the next digit also is 0 so it will be the weight of that digit is or bit is 4 so it will be 4 multiplied by 0 then next two bits have value 1 so for the next bit the weight is 2 so 2 multiplied by 1 and the next bit has weight 1 so it will be 1 multiplied by 1 so finally it is 2 plus 1 it is 3 now suppose if we want to represent 6 in bcd then how it can be 0 it is written 0 1 1 0 the bcd equivalent is 0 1 1 0 and if we use any other combination that will not work this is the unique combination in 8421 weighted code for this decimal equivalent so if we now go by this weight pattern then it will be 0 means 8 multiplied by 0 then the next bit value is 1 so it will be 4 multiplied by 1 then again we have 1 so it will be 2 multiplied by 1 and then we have 0 so it will be 1 multiplied by 0 so finally it will be 4 plus 2 it will be 6 and that's what we wanted to do now suppose if we want to represent 9 then 9 using 8 4 2 1 these four values if we want to represent then only combination will be 8 plus 1 that will give us 9 now suppose if we want to represent 9 by making any other combination using these four digits then we will not have any other combination only combination that will work is this 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 means in place of msb we should have 1 so it will be 8 multiplied by 1 and then in place of lsb also we should have 1 so 1 plus 1 and other in other two places we should have zero so four multiplied by zero plus two multiplied by zero and then finally we will have nine this is how we represent a decimal number in bcd by using the weighted code now i am back to the first slide so we can say that conversion technique from decimal to binary is easier because here only we have to remember the binary equivalent from zero to nine only and that we already know for any other number uh, every digit in decimal we will be representing by four bits of binary or bcd whatever we say but in case of binary the rule is different that i have already explained now as i said in case of bcd for decimal equivalent 10 to 15 those uh, six binary combination are invalid in bcd but since in binary number system by using four bits we can in total we can represent 16 numbers so here we can say that by using four bits we can represent 16 numbers but we are only using 10 numbers so this is a wastage so in that respect we can say bcd is less efficient with respect to uh, binary 
and also as we have seen that when we are increasing the digits in decimal number system we need more number of bits uh, compared to binary number system so more number of bits means it may take more time to transmit and also in our future classes we will see that when we will perform arithmetic operations using bcd code that will be little more complex compared to binary number system and for binary we already have the idea because we have separate classes on binary arithmetic next we will see a few more 4 bit bcd codes where the weight format is different now here in case of 7421 suppose if we want to represent 5 using 7421 these four values or these four digits then the combination that we can use is 5 means 4 plus 1 so in place in this in place of msb we will have 0 then 4 here we will have 1 then 2 will be multiplied by 0 and then 1 should be multiplied by 1 then only we will be having this value 5 and that's what it has been done so that means the combination should be 0 1 0 1 and that's what it has been done in case of 7421 for 5 it's 0 1 0 1 now suppose if we want to represent 7 using this code 5 4 2 1 so next our job is to represent 7 using this weighted code 5 4 2 1 so 5 4 2 1 means one combination will be 4 plus 2 plus 1 that gives us 7 that we know and the another combination will be 5 plus 2 that is also 7 so that means to represent by using this combination we have to make 3 bits 1 but for this combination if we have only 2 bits 1 then we can manage so here when we will be representing a decimal number by using a bcd code or weighted code our focus will be to represent that particular number by using less number of ones so that will be more efficient so the combination that we will take is 5 plus 2 that means here 5 will be multiplied by 1 4 will be multiplied by 0 and then 2 will be multiplied by 1 and 1 will be multiplied by 0 so we will be getting 7 so the combination will be 1 0 and then 1 0 and that's what it has been written 5 4 2 1 and 7 so it is 1 0 1 0 now suppose if we want to represent under this weighted code 3 3 2 1 suppose if you want to represent 8 then what should be our combination so now the next value is 8 and the next weights are 3 3 2 1 so 3321 means here 3 plus 36 plus 2 it will be 8 and that is the only combination that we have to use because here by using 2 bits only we cannot manage to represent 8 so here we have to use 3 bits so that will be 3 plus 3 plus 2 that will give us 8 that means it will be 3 multiplied by 1 then again 3 multiplied by 1 then plus 2 multiplied by 1 and the last the lsb will be multiplied by 0 so it will be 8 that means the combination is 1 1 1 0 and that's what we have used under 3321 code if we want to represent this decimal data 8 then the combination will be 1 1 1 0 so this is how we use weighted code to represent our decimal digit so i hope now you have a good knowledge of bcd with this i in today's class thank you